Here we are. Let's tell Grandma Grouper where we're going today. Well, hello there, Freddy and Luther. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma Grouper. I'm afraid we don't have much time to visit with you today. We're on our way to Coral Cove Park. You have fun. And be safe. Thanks, Grandma. Goodbye. Wait for me, Freddy! It's gone. Never come back. Case of the Creature of Coral Cove. Like this one came out in 2001. Yeah, those were probably half yeah, mid. That's the way to Coral Cove Park. It's the one you remember the most, really. We're not gonna let some sea monster keep us out of Coral Cove Park, are we? I say we drive the monster out! That's what I say. Drive the monster out! <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. What's going on here? I'm Marty Sardini. I developed Coral Cove Park into a beautiful attraction. But Mayor Marlin has closed it due to sea monster sightings. And we're not gonna let some sea monster spoil our fun, right? Right! <laughs> Wait a minute. Has anyone seen this monster? I have, and it scared the dickens out of me. It scared me too. Something seems fishy here. But, Freddy, we are fish. No, Luther. I mean something doesn't seem right about all this. An angry mob is no way to solve this. Luther and I will figure out what the sea monster wants. Just give us some time. She's making sense, Marty. Let's give the kids a chance. Hmm. All right. You've got till the end of the day. Then we drive the sea monster out of the park! Deal. <laughs> Gee, I don't know, Freddy. A sea monster sounds scary. Don't worry, Luther. I'm sure there is a logical explanation for why this sea monster is scaring everyone. The first thing we need to do is get into Coral Cove Park to look for clues. Ah, uh, yes. Whoa! Where do you think you're going? We're going to investigate Coral Cove Park. No one may enter the park, folks. Mayor Marlin's orders. What if we're here to help? Is there any way to get in? Your only option is to get this permission slip signed by Mayor Marlin. We're on it! Okay, can't go to the right. Let's check what it's over here. Oh, it's scrolled. <gasps> they have parallax scrolling. Crazy. They're so high tech. That door's locked. Oh, if I like this. What are you playing? Jugs! You're good! Not as good as I should be. I'm still one jug short. And this glass bottle is no substitute. I wouldn't need this bottle at all if I had another jug. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my friend Luther. Hi there! My name's Kipper! It's a taffy-making machine! Yum! I don't know what flavor I need. Let's just take a nice kiwi crunch. They're 
there goes the taffy. Gosh, I bet that was the tastiest taffy, too. Oh, it just goes away. Nice. I don't have any sea urchins. Hello there. I'm Earl, the map specialist. Nice to meet you, Earl. I'm Freddy, and this is my pal, Luther. You must be straining your eyes. I lost my glasses in the tide pools out there by those mud skippers. How can you see your maps? I've made do with this microscope lens. That's terrible. If you find my glasses, I'll be able to read maps again. We'll help you find your glasses. Thanks. Okay. You look like Gil Barker. That's because we're twins. My name's Gillian. I'm Freddy, and this is my friend Luther. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. So. How much does the glue cost? One purple sea urchin. You can't beat that. It's not wrong. Yikes! There's something stuck in the middle of that stinging anemone. Hello? Is there anybody here? It's Freddy Fish and Luther. Hey, Daddy-O, I'm Nick. I'm back here trying to fix this sign. Daddy-O? Is he talking to us? Sure I am. Everything was smooth as usual until the bolt I need to hold this sign up fell into that stinging anemone. Ouch! How will you get it out? I'm clueless and I'm trapped here. Can you help? Are you kidding? We'd love to help the clueless. Luther means that we'd be happy to help you put the sign back up. It'd be real hip if you could get a wrench, too. You'll need that bolt and a wrench to fix the sign. We're happy to help. I can't reach into the stinging anemone. Excuse me. Where's a wrench? I'm Freddy Fish. And this is my friend, Luther. Hi. Well, hello. My name's Kit Craftsman. What hmm. do you use this for? The wrench? I'll use that to take this big ship apart. I can't find a bottle big enough to fit the thing. That must be hard for you. It's a heartbreaker. If only I had a big enough bottle for the ship, then I wouldn't need the wrench. Of this one? Uh, it's a couple of minutes. One for you. It's pretty much That'd the beginning be of this. Fantastic. Okay. Hello, I'm Rollo. Who are you? Nice to meet you, Rollo. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. Pleasure meeting you both. Yeah, the VOD starts with the, with four. What's this fancy gadget all about? This fancy gadget saves you the pain and discomfort of having to reach into unseemly places. Unseemly? Yeah, you know, stinky, dirty, poisonous, hot, whatever. There are all sorts of places I could use that. Watch it work. Wow, that is really neat. It's a bargain at three purple sea urchins. Excuse Trading cards. Me, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend Luther. Who are you? My name is Al B. Core. I am in the business of card trading. Pleased to meet you, Al B. Core. It's a purple. So sphere. many pathways to go on this one. Good way. eye, Freddy. Matt, trading card. Look, it's a trading card. Hey! 
That's my roof! Your roof is made out of a trading card? Until I get one like this top-of-the-line cone-shaped roof, yes, that's my roof! Oops. Oh, we'll put it back. Maybe we can help you find an orange cone-shaped roof. Then I wouldn't need this hokey trading card roof. My home is my castle, and a little privacy is all I ask for. Low. I yeah. got it! Way to go! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's like there's... As many paths as all the other games combined. Hi, Luther. What's going on? Same old, same old. I'm analyzing food samples, but unfortunately my microscope is missing its lens. That must make things difficult. Darn near impossible. Maybe you know how all things connect, it's got to find the original, like, That'd be great. starting then path. I could continue analyzing these food samples. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. The name's Marge. Marge the Sarge. That drill book looks interesting. It sure is. I use the drills in here to whip these tetras into shape. What do you mean? I lost my medal, so the tetras had some trouble respecting my authority. Having that book gives me some clout. So if we Whoa, some clout. Back, would you need the drill book anymore? This game was using clout before it was, nope, it was cool. You could have the drill book if I had my medal. <laughs> clout in 2001. This game was way too early. going for the fake tattoos. What? There's some other Keep things in there. Steady. Steady. Oh, I got a glow necklace. It's kind of pretty. We got to play the game once before it broke. Yeah, and we got that pretty glow necklace, too. I'll wear it if you don't like it. Nah, I'll hold on to it. I'm sure it'll come in handy sometime. I'd like to buy some glue, please. You've come to the right place. I can offer you top of the line. Ultra fantastic elastic glue. Here you go. All right, we got some glue. Thanks. What was in here? Oh, I had not been in here yet. Hi there. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. We'd like to talk with the mayor if possible. I'm Clyde. The mayor's all yours as soon as I'm done with his makeover. It's just that I'm missing my number three fin pick. Where could it be? It must be back in my barber shop. I'm so absent-minded these days. 
I'll go look for it. We'll go look for it. If you'd like. What dears? Quick as a bunny, just run over to my barber shop. The fin pick should be right there. Hang these keys up on the hook inside the barber shop when you found the fin pick. Okay. Phew. Which key should I try? Let's try this key. So assuming it's the same whole shape. That's it! We're in, Luther! Whoopee! Hey, let's go. There! The keys are on the hook, so Clyde knows right where to find them. And I see fin picks already! It's number three, right? I take the, this uh... must be the fin pick Clyde needs to give the mayor his makeover. We'll soon find out. You this at all? No. Okay. This should be the right fin pick, Clyde. Ooh, you're so efficient. Now can you finish the mayor's makeover? But of course, I'll only be a moment. All done. See you tomorrow, Mayor Marlin. Splendid, splendid. All right, let's get him to sign this. We can go to the park. Mayor Marlin, we have a permission slip we'd like you to sign. It will allow us into Coral Cove Park so we can solve the mystery of this terrifying sea monster. Huh? All right. There is a sea monster terrorizing the citizens of Coral Cove, isn't there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mayor Marlin. Now, Officer Beverly will let us into Coral Cove Park. Good luck to you both. The citizens of Coral Cove are lucky to have you here in times like these. Whoa! Nice. Here's the permission slip signed by Mayor Marlin himself. <gasps> you don't say. Well, I'll be. Go on in, but remember what I said. That sea monster is huge. And it's evil. No fear, eh, Freddy? No fear, Luther. Yo, sea urchin. Another purple sea urchin. What's this? Yuck! It smells horrible! Look at the size of the bite taken out of it. Bites big enough to be a sea monsters. 
That's just what I was thinking, Luther. The sea monster must have been eating this and dropped some. Yo, we are snagged it. on the monster's trail now. We just need to get this sample analyzed. Those meddlesome kids are gonna ruin my grand plan. What? Those Tetras mean business. They're too busy practicing drills to notice us. We need to find a way to steer them away. A purple sea urchin, just waiting for me to come along. Ah, uh, yeah. I saw that one first. Freddy's best so far? Uh, oh, this jug I don't is know. broken. We're going to need glue to get all those pieces back together. Glue is great, but I need. Nah, I'd say this one just because it has the most places. options in it. Which is kind of unfair because it's the last one. That piece fit perfectly. We're getting somewhere now. Good one, Freddy. That, that piece fit per. Good one, Freddy. That there, all done. I'd say story-wise, I'd probably like. Hmm. Probably like the first Just one. Like story-wise, though. That mud skipper sure is having fun jumping from puddle to puddle. He's going all the way across. That puddle is too far away. Glasses. Do I look smarter, Freddy? Way smarter, Luther. Let's put them away for safekeeping. I'm starting to get the pieces. Whoa! You're right. The metal is too far away. If only it was attracted to my magnetic personality. Okay. So at least this way we have to go. Look, Luther, a purple sea urchin. I saw that one first. Luther, look, there's an orange safety cone in there. That's just what the guy in the card house is looking for. We need to get it for him. The comedy is lost to me. No, I get the comedy, it's just not shipwreck, but this something I need to laugh out loud for. Oof, like, there's a lot of humorous bits in this, sure? but... Yes, we need to find another way in. I'm not gonna die laughing over it. Oof! 
Wait, what? I just get in. Hey, Cone. Wait, what? That orange safety cone is heavy. I'm going to need Freddy's help with it. That looks like some kind of code. I bet that's a code for something on this ship. Yeah, I don't... What about the... This big wheel must open the door. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> but the door is locked. Right. The blue cable indicator is set to the middle position. How do I change that? Uh, what? Oh, okay, I can go down here. Maybe moving those colors around will unlock the door in the room above. Then I can let Freddy in. Yeah, we did it. Woo. I'll try this again. An orange safety cone. Just what we needed. How's the day going? Uh, it's besides tech, tech issues at the very beginning of the day. It's gone pretty well. It's gone pretty well. Still got some time. All right, let's go back. Uh, how do I go back? We got a lot of things we can do now. Check out this jug. It matches the rest of your set. It's like we've reunited the jug family. Are you for real? I can keep this jug? Hooey! Of course. Yeah, the jugs. Here, take this glass bottle. He's a jug man. Thanks. Right, while we're over here, we're gonna go all the way to the right. My glasses? My glasses! My glasses. I can see! I can see! Thank you. Speedruns is knowing where to click and hitting escape to skip all the animations. Yes! Please take that thing out of my sight! My glorious sight! Thank it's you. Nothing real no. special. Thank you. Reading maps must be fun. Oh, it has its ups and downs. I'd like one, please. They cost three purple sea urchins each. Here's another purple sea urchin. When there's a resurgence You're of playing so it's gonna happen. Short. I mean, it kinda did happen with like The Walking Dead and all the Telltale games. Here's another purple sea urchin. Great. And that died, so.
Woo! Alright, we got that. Oh, uh, we can do that in a second. Give him the bottle for the ship. I hope this is a big enough bottle. Oh, splendid. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? What a wonderful gift you've brought me. You've saved me the pain of dismantling my work. Do you still need the wrench? Take that tool of destruction out of my sight. My creation is safe in her permanent home. Thanks. We'll take good care of it. I got the bolt! This extendo arm is a miracle of modern science. I'll say. Whoever said no pain, no gain doesn't know what they're talking about. Oh, no. I guess we're all done with the extendo arm anyway. No. We lost the extendo arm. We're so close! All I need is something to tighten this bolt into place. Like a wrench? I don't think you're really supposed to use it with rope, but you know what? Sure. Free, Nick. I like it. I like it a lot. Now we can see what's in your store. It's cool to be back in business. Oh, uh, yeah. What's in here? What do you got? Magnet. A magnet might be useful. How much is it? It's free. Consider it my gift to you for helping fix my sign. What a deal! <laughs> I like this. <laughs> this is the best store ever. This, sorry. <laughs> what a great face. <laughs> I'll take a little screenshot of this. Bam. There we go. Uh, not quite. Well, actually, that is where I want to go. I'll have to come for that thing, too. Okay. Try this lens, Casey. <gasps> that did the trick. I can see through my microscope again. Thanks, Freddy and Luther. It's our pleasure. Do you ever look at rotten food through that microscope? Mold is my favorite. Mold is fun. Can you look at that? Could you take a look at this food sample? We found it in Coral Cove Park. Uh, it's pushed that on in there. Unique. It's a kind of sea cheese, and it's only found in Tetra Caves, and it's typically only eaten by sea monsters. Jackpot! Mm hmm. Just as I suspected. Come to think of it, look at this key I found the other day. It has traces of the same food substance on it. Why don't you take it? It may come in handy for you. Thanks, Casey. Luther, we should have a look inside this Tetra Cave for clues. Okay, 
So we have to go get the star so that we can get the book so I can get into the cave. Give him the... This safety cone is just like the one in your magazine. What? It's a spitting image! Structurally, your home will be much more sound with this cone, sir. You bet it will! Why don't you go ahead and take that old trading card? Not the bad guy is. It's Freddy Fish. Thank you. Freddy Fish is always the bad guy. Freddy Fish is a menace to society. Could I trade this card for a different one? Which card would you like to trade for? I don't know. I'd better hang on to it for now. Fine and dandy. Uh, was it this way? No. Yo, Flaneco with the $20 going in. What's going on, Flaneco? Thank you for the 20 bucks for the kids. On the St. Jude's Children Research uh, Hospital. I didn't have something up. Hope you're doing well. Thank you once again for that. Can we get some love and hype and chat for that, please? <clears throat> Alright, this is what I want it. You lost the magnet, Freddy. Oh, well, we don't need it anymore. What? We still need it. A magnet was all we needed to get the metal over here. The attraction is obvious. way nope back this way there we go look here's your medal you don't say it is my medal It fits perfectly into the blank spot on your uniform. Of course it does. Thank you both. Do you still need the drill book? No, you can have it. Thanks. Okay. Hey, it's Mess Hall Mania. I love this game. How do you play it? Well... It's really easy. We both have some schools of fish. I hide your fish. We've got a case to solve. Let's get... And then... Uh, where was this thing? It's over here. Yeah. Hmm. Shark steak mumbo. Breath. Stink. Freaky stuff. Lead fin. Lead lead fin. Lead 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 fin. Freaky styly. Sea cheese curds. Sea cheese curds. I don't know what you have heard. I don't know what you have heard. Around these parts we eat the curd. Around these parts we eat the curd. 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 Sea cheese curd. Sea cheese curd. Mmm. Uh, 
Uh, what pattern I need? That's not the right drill. They're still blocking the door. There are plenty more to choose from. We are, can try again. Aren't they all blocking the door? Hmm. See cheese curd. Stinky cheese. Breath so bad. Guess maybe that one's not Shark in front of the door. Breath so bad. Breath so bad. I don't know what you just chewed. I don't know what you just chewed. But all I smell is jawfish food. But all I smell is jawfish food. Halitosis. Halitosis. The Tetras moved out of our way! Great! Sure, sure, sure. Yes! That was the key! Finally, we're in! Woo! It sure is dark in here. This is creepy. Let's leave. Not so fast. We need something to light up the cave so we can look for clues. Oh, yeah. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. That's not going to do me any good. What? Perfect! The glow necklace lights up the whole cave. Whew! I feel better already. Now we can look around for clues to where the sea monster is. One, pick up some sea cheese. Two, scare townspeople away from my home. Three, order 50 pounds of taffy for delivery. This must be 50 the pounds. to-do list. Are you sure? I am positive. We need to find the address of this 50-pound taffy delivery. That must be where the sea monster lives. 50 pounds of taffy, though. Somebody likes their taffy. Where's the taffy shop? Back here somewhere, right? Has anyone ordered a large amount of taffy for delivery today? Say, 50 pounds of taffy? That rings a bell somewhere, but I don't remember any details. Is there any way to find that information? Yeah, if I could remember the password to my computer, we could look it up. What's your pet's name? Mother's maiden name? Nope. I had the password written down on the back of a trading card, but then I traded the trading card. Tell us more about that trading card. Well, I seem to recall I had a picture of an orange muscle car on one side. My password was written on the other side. Got that, Luther? Olive mustard carp. Yep, I've got it. Here's a written description of the card. If you can find it, I could get into my computer and look up my delivery records. We'll see what we can do. Here you go, Freddy! Nice. All right, let's go trade this. Oh, trade. I'd like to trade this card for the orange muscle card trading card, please. Let's see. Here you go. It was nice trading with you. You too. Thanks.
Nailed it. Could this be the trading card you meant? That's the very one! And the password is still written on it! K-I-P-P-E-R! Dipper! So much Daffy makes me Daffy! Thank you! Uh, okay. Now tell me who ordered 50 pounds of Taffy. Could we check the address on that big 50 pound order you sent out today? You bet! That order went to Smartswood Hole, the deepest crevice in the ocean! That must be where the sea monster lives! Let's go! Rise up, citizens! Rise up, gamers. Yours. What is ours? Yeah, what is ours? Let's oust the sea monster from his evil lair. Let's make Coral Cove Park a safe and fun place for the whole family. Yeah, oust the sea monster. We're all behind you, Marty. Look at the size of that crevice. Are you ready, Luther? Mm. Yeah, no fear, Freddy. to darken Zamphir's doorstep! It's just Freddy Fish and Luther. Oh, you're that famous kid detective, aren't you? You've succeeded in finding my new home. What do you mean, your new home? A certain greedy developer drove me out of my real home, Coral Cove Park. He claimed it as his own and turned it into a tourist attraction. You must mean Marty. Why did Marty develop the cove if it belongs to you? Marty has a lot of gall. I have a deed to prove I own this cove, and that didn't stop him. That's bunk. <gasps> there is no such deed. Zamfir, show us the deed. If what you say is true, Marty is in real trouble. It's right here. It was right here! The deed has been stolen! The deed is gone, and so is Marty. Things are going from bad to worse. Zamfir, we're going to get that deed back for you. We won't stand for this kind of injustice. Let's go, Luther. I know where Marty lives. Here we are at Marty's house. It looks more like a compound to me. Let's just stay calm. If we can get in, I know we can find Zamfir's deed. Ew! This rubber ducky is all slimy. It's a dog toy, Freddy. I guess you're right. We'll hold on to it anyway. We just strip give it to the dog? Here, dogfish, get your rubber ducky. He Easy. loves it. Now we can get past him. If you say so. What a trap. Whoa, Marty set a trap. I hope we're not stuck in here. Oh, great! The whole place may be booby-trapped! We need to find a way out of here. Hmm, a weight could be useful. Could it? No, I don't think so. Look at that tiny window! 
window. Maybe we can get out that way. I'm right behind you, Freddy. Sweet freedom! Not so fast. We need to go back and get the deed. It's some kind of weight. Hmm. I'll hold on to it for now. Uh, I think so. It's running through steam. It launches it. Well, that one doesn't fit properly. Let's see, grab that one first. Hmm, this looks interesting. It's a medium weight. Who knows? It might come in handy. Hold on to this for now. Yeah, I mean, it's not great, but it's also not bad considering these games came out like 20 years ago. Perfect! Now we're getting somewhere. That does the trick. Grrr. Oof. Oh, I have to go back around the other way? Okay. What's up, Fuzzy? We can't get in this way. It only opens from the inside. From the inside? What? <laughs> no one will find Zamphia's deed now. Not with it safely locked in my wool safe and the combination cleverly hidden in this fake book. <laughs> we need to get the safe combination out of that fake book. Then we can get Zamfir's deed back to him, right, Freddy? Exactly. Nope. Then we can put an end to this mystery once and for all. It's so mischievous. We need to get that fake book with a combination inside, but the bookshelf is facing the wrong way. Revolving bookshelves are such a pain. I wonder how we can get around to the other side. I think the position of this vase means something. Let's borrow it for a minute until we figure it out. I guess the circular vase goes onto the circular spot. The vase's position means something. Let's try it here. Okay. Yoink. This candle might help us. I think I'll borrow it for a while.
No problem. The door's unlocked now. I get through this, or do I have to go back? I mean, the front door is unlocked, so it. Oh, maybe it'll. Grrr. Grrr, rrr, rrr. I want to go down the trap door. Ideally. The candlestick holder needs a candle here. Oh, okay. Never mind. Send this backwards. There we go. It's the fake book. It's the combination to Marty's wall safe. What? 238, candle in the middle. That was wrong. Okay, it goes up and then... I guess I have to memorize the light. That's a pick. First... Okay, it has to be blue. I mean, the candle's not lit this candle underwater. This should be in a candlestick holder. Look, a C2, three, eight, enter. Who do you? Hey, we got the deed. Here's the deed. It says that Coral Cove Park belongs to Zamfir Duncan Dogberry Valentine. Just like Zamfir said it would. Security! Security! <gasps> I got intruders in the compound! I got intruders in the compound! It's martial law! It's anarchy! Security! How'd you get in? You're all under arrest! Hold up right there! I understand there's a dispute over the rightful owner of Coral Cove Park. What's this about? Marty should be under arrest for theft. This deed proves that Coral Cove belongs to Zamphir. Is this true? Marty, have you any defense? Now I see why Zamphir turned into such a scary sea monster. Marty ruined his home. This whole mess is Marty's doing. This deed I'm holding proves that Zamfir Duncan Dogberry Valentine owns Coral Cove. Hip hip hooray! I am sorry for scaring you all away. I was only trying to stop Marty. Thanks to Freddy and Luther, we stopped him once and for all. Marty's community service hours will keep him busy cleaning up this mess for a long, long time. As the rightful owner, you can choose what happens with Coral Cove Park. What do you think? The next game, Freddy discusses how property is theft. Let's bring down That's why there isn't another escapes. Freddy Fish game. We can all play in Coral Cove Park now. Spring up 90, it does, yeah. And that's how Freddy Fish ends.